Well, there are more than just children swimming in pools this summer. There's a nasty parasite known as crypto, which has been found in several Pinellas County public pools, and it's making people sick. Eight on your side took the concerns to the health department, and Jana Jones, she jo joins us live in Largo. Jana, how common is this? Well, good evening to you, Stacey. So far this year, there's been 13 reported cases, but we're just now starting to get into the busy pool season. I can tell you that the health department and pool inspectors are doing what they can to keep this parasite under control. But in Pinellas County alone, there are more than 4,000 public pools to monitor. Before you make the plunge into the pool this summer, you ought to consider a poopy parasite. It's related to stool in the water where the infected person um, has diarrhea or something and, and it spreads in the water and then everybody else who's in there who may swallow it or come in contact with it also gets sick. We're talking the kind of sick you don't want on your summer vacation. You will get diarrhea and cramps and, and um, vomiting, so it's not pleasant. Crypto spreads fast once it's in the water. Make sure that you use swim pants instead of just diapers so nothing leaks out. The scariest part about all of this is that chlorine doesn't fix the problem, right? Uh, chlorine, it, well, it's chlorine resistant. The parasite can live in a pool up to 10 days, and it's not easy to get rid of. So if you were to find crypto in this pool, and I know that you didn't, but if you did, would the chlorine fix itself or would you have to shock the pool? They would want to bring it up to a 20 parts per million of shock and hold it there. The only way you can be in the clear for sure is to never ingest pool water or you can check the county's website to see what's going on at every pool inspection. I did ask which pools were infected by, by this, and by law, that information is protected. But you can check out the county's website to see what's going on at every pool within the county. We do have that information posted to our website if you're interested in checking out the county's website. Stacy. Okay, Jana, as a mom and summer has just started and the kids need things to do, this is scary stuff. Is there anything the public can do to help with this problem? They have asked if you've been sick with diarrhea or anything to stay out of the pool for at least 48 hours after your symptoms stop. And if you do have young children, like you said, for moms, they ask that you put your children or toddlers in those swim diapers instead of the normal diapers because I'm told just a little bit into the water can contaminate the entire pool. And anyone who comes in contact with that water is apt to get sick. Hopefully they're testing and fixing it appropriately. All right, Jana Jones, live in Pinellas County. Thank you. And we've put everything you need to know about pool parasites on the homepage at WFLA.com. You can also share this story with your friends from our News Channel 8 Facebook page.